Hey everybody, welcome back to Fat Kid Studios Presents Snack Crate. I am Dan. And we have a very special episode that we're going to do today uh, because it is the Valentine's Day edition of Snack Crate. So we invited some of our favorite fat kids to bring their spouses to join them on the tasting table. So without further ado, let's get to Snack Crate. Bonds of London, your one in a melon sour watermelon slices. Pucker up, we're not here for a kiss, but one taste of these extra sour watermelon gummy slices will make it look like you're waiting for one. Hey, I'm Scott. It's been a bit. My wife, Katie. We've been uh, married for four or five months now? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's like we got your one in a million watermelon slices. One in a melon. Awesome. Yeah, that's I'm not so sure about that. No, that's gross. That's gross. Ugh. Ugh. Try it. Much chewier than your usual gummy. <laughs> That's disgusting. Cool. Yeah. Not crazy about it. I actually think I like it better than the regular like sour patch uh, watermelon gummies, but nah. <laughs> Gross. Vimto Chew Bar. Refreshing and fruity, this handy pack of munch-sized fruit chews boasts the perfect mix of grape, raspberry, and black currant juice, all in one bite. Hi, I'm Diamond. And this is my wife, Sarah. Hello. And we've been together for? Almost four years. Almost four years. So uh, let's get into it. We have the Vimto Chew Bar, made with real fruit juices, suitable for vegetarians and natural colors, just in case you wanted something natural colored. Um, it just doesn't sound appealing to vegetarians. No. It's, like someone, like, it's <laughs> almost like Laffy Taffy. It smells good. It smells like it smells cake. Really good. It does smell like cake. You're right. Oh, I don't it's know if a I lot harder this. than this a Laffy not Taffy. Quite well. I just twisted it four times. Ah. <laughs> the flavor is good, but you can't chew it. Ow. At all. No. This would be like good in a hot car on a summer day. Like Very let it hot melt car. a little bit. Yeah, there's no way I'm chewing it. The flavor's okay. I don't really know what it's supposed to taste like. It just tastes like they just threw everything they could oh, into it. Grape, black currant, and raspberry. Oh. And the first ingredient is glucose syrup. Of course. I don't know. I'm not okay. going to the store to buy this. Nah, lefty tapies are better. Oh yeah, way better. Sweet Chaos Popcorn Cake Batter. What kind of celebration of love would this day be without some perfectly popped kettle corn drizzled in cold stone creamery cake batter and sprinkles? Hi, I'm John. This is my wife and better half, Jessica. We've been married for eight years. We're gonna try some popcorn on the cold stone cake batter frosting. Alright. Sweet and salty kettle corn. It smells like cake batter. It does. It smells almost caramel. Pretty good. 
it tastes like the cake batter flavor at Cold Stone. It really does. Uh, you can't really see it too much on the popcorn. I know, and I don't see, there's supposed to be sprinkles. Oh, this one has a lot of sprinkles. I saw one. Yeah, yep. it's covered. Oh, yeah. oh it's got two. The ones with sprinkles are a little too sweet for me. But it's not bad. I mean, it's not something. If I saw it in the store, it was on sale and I'd buy it, but it's not something I'd go out of the way to buy. Yeah, it's not terrible. Not terrible. Burton's Jammy Dodgers Minis. Mini shortbread biscuits with a fruity jam filling, these popular treats have been a cultural institution throughout the UK for over 50 years. So next on the looks like a uh, Jammy Dodger. Yay, Dr. Who candy. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's how I know it. Okay, smells like a standard Jammy Dodger. Nothing special. Like a little cookie? Yes. Jam in it? Yeah, it's like a standard, like a, it's like a star one in Christmas time, mm -hmm. the jelly inside. Mother loves them. Yeah. And she bought a little talent. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. Yeah. Not special. Pretty basic. Not bad. Fry's Turkish Delight. Step into a world of decadence and delight with this sweet, chocolate-coated morsel. Snack Crate has included either the classic rose or the new cherry flavor for our sampling. All right, so up next we have the Turkish Delight. It is cherry flavor. I know how I feel about that. It's better than roses. I don't want to put a rose in my mouth. Yeah, but I'm not a huge cherry flavor person. I'm worried it's gonna taste like pop syrup. I don't know. I do like Turkish delight, so. And it's smushed. Oh, it smells. It smells good. It smells like one of those cherry cordials. Mm. I don't really like those. Oh, reminds me of my You're grandma. not gonna, like, give me any? Yeah. You're just gonna take a bite out of it? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you can't. see? <laughs> see? You can't. You can't. <laughs> uh, there's not enough chocolate, for sure. Needs way more chocolate. Again, it's sticky. Oh, I like the texture. It doesn't the taste really like. Good. But yeah, it doesn't have there's a really strong flavor. A hint of cherry, not enough chocolate. So, eh, it's okay. Uh, again, I'm probably not gonna go to the store to buy it. Nope. I'm probably not even gonna eat it if somebody gives it to me. Nestle Smarties. A longtime favorite in Canada, these chocolate candies are covered in a brightly colored sugar coating, making them perfect for your Valentine. So these are Smarties from Nestle Canada. They're not the Smarties we know, for sure. They're not in that little plastic. Yeah, the little roll up thing. That... The boxes are cute. Yours has, Mine has a little heart eyes. on it. Mine has a little heart if you want to give it to your Valentine. Interesting. And mine says there's no nuts. That's a problem. Oh, there's, they're bigger than I expected. Little M&M's. They do sort of look like M&M's. That's exactly what they taste like. Like giant M&M's. Yeah, they're bigger and flatter. It's an M&M. It is an M&M, and apparently there's something on a box that you can put on your finger. So you can yeah, finger, the box, the box you tells can you finger the box. Finger says. the box. We're not entirely certain why. It must be a Canadian joke. Yeah, they just, they just taste like regular M&Ms. Millions Black Current. Sure to give your taste buds a flavor buzz, these miniature yet mighty black currant fruit chews are truly one in a million, just like you. We have next these tiny, tasty, chewy sweets of 
millions. Black currant, which is a uh, UK thing, but I understand. Okay, open it up. I'm, I'm curious. Do you just eat like one? Do you eat like a handful? Uh -huh. yeah. I know we get there. Mm. It smells like medicine. Kind of. I can't really. I can't smell anything to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Very. I guess. I really think it's hard. They are really hard, really chewy. Well, we don't have any Basically, feelings. Basically, like the most very kind of berry you can think of. Alright. Well, we don't have any filling to your teeth, though. We're gonna lose them and start losing crap. Ugh. One time I was eating milk duds, and I really did lose a dog. Alright. Well, it does a gross one, though. I like them. I like them. I like them. Plus, candy, of course, you eat it. Swizzles Love Hearts Dip. This fizzy snack features a candy floss dipstick so you can mix and match the orange sparkle, tangy raspberry, and zingy lemon fruit flavors. Next thing we have is Love Hearts Dip. It looks a lot like Fun Dip, made by Swizzles. We have orange sparkle, tangy raspberry, and zingy lemon. And look, the stick has words oh, on it. candy floss flavor too. Oh, candy floss. Oh, like cotton candy. Is that what cotton candy is called? Candy floss? Candy floss. No. Did you learn something new every day? Oh, uh, the stick is broken. Of course. What are you do with a broken stick? I don't know. <laughs> you want the big one or the small one? Hey, it's pretty true to life. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I chew. <laughs> this one says, hug me and say yes. <laughs> Mine says, hi pal, love you, kiss me. I'm definitely not giving you that one. <laughs> you have to dip your small stick in this. Alright, what do you want, orange, raspberry, or lemon first? Uh, I don't let's, know. Let's just go down the line, go with orange. Right. Give it a lick and a stick. I can rip more off. Well, you pick the small one. Tastes like tang. Like if you yeah. dip. I'm not really getting anything from the stick though. It doesn't taste like candy floss. It just tastes like sugar. Alright. You need red right Raspberry, now? yeah. It's on the front too. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, and you got it everywhere. Nice mm -hmm. job. I think it's full up. Ah. Oh, that looks good. That one definitely has more. It doesn't really taste like raspberry, but it's like sour. Yeah, it does. That's exactly what raspberry tastes like. Alright, lemon. As sour as your attitude. It takes the lemon. <laughs> All right, I have 100%. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time he's choked. <laughs> That's a lot of lemon. Mm. Holy cow. It tastes like you, <coughs> like, or like a, inhaled a bunch of crystal ice. Yeah. Or like a like lemon drink powder. It. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's good. It tastes exactly like a fun dip I was, would expect to taste. It's not as sweet as, yeah. like, regular fun dip. More tangy. Dip. That's but, for sure. It says on the card that it's supposed to be fizzy. Are you getting any fizzy? Uh, no fizz. I mean, I, I, if you put it in water, it might fizz. That's about it. Yeah, they're tangy. No fizzy. Is one of these Does it say Are they all about... fizz? Oh, they're all flavored fizz. Yeah. It's the lemon a little bit. Like, it's a little, like... I don't, I don't know. know. Nothing. I'm not getting fizz. I expect more, like, pop rocks. That didn't happen. 
Nope. Bonds of London Pink Hearts. These lovable little chocolates feature a delicate strawberry flavor and playful candy sprinkles, making them perfect for a sweetheart of any kind. All right, so we've got some pink hearts from London, three for a pound. Uh, they are, they have lots of sprinkles. Oh, and it's shaped like a heart. Shaped like a heart. They smell very strawberry. They do smell, they have an overwhelming strawberry smell. They don't say strawberry on the box, but they smell very strawberry. And there's zero strawberry flavor. Like none. They look like white chocolate. They like white, yeah. It's like white, white chocolate. chocolate with sprinkles. Kind of like the round surface that we have here with the sprinkles on it, but mm -hmm. it's just shaped as a heart. I mean, again, not bad, yeah, it's not but it's just white chocolate that smells like strawberries. That so doesn't taste. That so doesn't taste like that. Not terrible, but three for a pound. Three for a pound. Vallejo raspberry and coconut ruffles. If love was a snack. It would be this one. Delicious raspberry flavored coconut fondant is covered with dark chocolate for a touch of decadence. We got Go. raspberry and coconut ruffles. Ah, <laughs> or dark chocolate. Ain't I'm liking it. Like it. Mm. It's got like a feeling, I like. <laughs> it's really wrapped. It smells too bad. It looks like it's just a classic piece of candy. One you might kind of like find in like a Fannie Mae kind of pack. What's it with those fancy chocolates you get in Christmas? Yeah. Something yeah. Like that. Probably, actually. Yep. Yeah. Pretty basic. Well, I like with the coconut, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I actually kind of like it with the coconut. Really? Mm -hmm. Nah, give me the coconut. Probably without it. Wow, that'd be too plain. Eh, yeah, too much going on, I think, though. Yeah, it's nice, though. It's alright. Pretty good. Yeah, not terrible. I wouldn't buy it again, but... Yeah, bad. Swizzles Love Hearts Lipstick. A novel take on a classic Swizzles recipe, this lipstick-shaped fruit candy stick won't leave a big smudge on your cheek like Grandma used to do. All right, we have the Swizzles Love Heart Lipstick. Great. It says, <laughs> says um, zero to three, baby face, no. What? That's it. <laughs> oh. No babies. No babies. <laughs> Okay. I feel like I've had this as a kid. Maybe. Like I don't know. There's I something haven't. very similar to it. It's like a almost like a sweet tart. Give it away. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thanks for nothing. Give me the stick. <laughs> it doesn't taste like anything and now it's all drooly. <laughs> You, <laughs> it is all dry. From you, you suck the whole thing in your mouth. Yeah, it doesn't taste like anything. It's like, okay, hold on. <laughs> Still nothing. Uh, uh, okay, I taste it now. It's like strawberry or something. How did you bite that? Easy. I have the jaw. I'm a predator. Never used that on me. <laughs> Kit Kat Mini Raspberry. Break into this Kit Kat to enjoy a tangy, sweet surprise of smooth raspberry chocolate cream covering two layers of crispy wafer. And Kit Kat Mini Strawberry. One of the most exotic flavors made by Nestle Japan, this fragrant candy bar is packed with love and a delightful strawberry flavor. 
Okay, so we've got Kit Kats from Japan. I think you have raspberry, have raspberry flavor. Here. I've got strawberry. Huh. In the back of mine, it says, good job. Yeah, mine says I can write my own message to my husband. You might not want me to do that. Well, apparently I did a good job. <laughs> So the strawberry one, it's like white chocolate coated, it's a little pink. So is mine. Raspberry's a little darker. Oh. Well. Not bad. Now that smells like strawberries for sure. And definitely it's a very strong. Yes, definitely fruit strawberry and well. raspberry. Now on this you very much get the strawberry. Yes, this is a much stronger strawberry taste than that last part. Kind of too, too much That's overwhelming. Like, yeah, it's like an overpowering strawberry. It's Almost like, sour. It's like the old lady in the apartment store you can smell from a couple aisles away. You know old ladies that smell strawberries. You make me go shopping. Now the raspberry one doesn't have the same flavor. No, the raspberry is a little smoother. It's much more subtle. And still, At the whatever end. is in between the yeah. layers, like a regular Kit Kat's cut layer, actually is super tart. There's like raspberry powder or something in it. By the end really of the raspberry, it was like an overwhelming taste at the end of the raspberry. And the strawberry was a lot smoother throughout. The strawberry was almost too much. That's why it was too potent. Yeah. Not bad. Those are not bad at all. I, I would buy those. I don't know about these. I'd buy the raspberry one. Over the strawberry. Dalston's Cherry Drink. The real cherries used in this delightfully refreshing, sparkling water have been muddled, but my feelings for you never will be. All right, as our, our loyal Snack Crate viewers know, uh, sometimes Snack Crate includes a drink with their crate, and this time they did. It is a Dalston's Pop Your Cherry Seltzer. Uh, and so you guys are all gonna go ahead and give that a try, so go ahead. Still smelling it, it smells very strong. It is strong. It smells like medicine. It smells like the skin of a cherry, like a cherry porcelain. It doesn't have much taste though, actually. No, there's not a lot of flavor. No. You smell the cherry. Yeah, yeah the smell is much That's more so overpowering weird. than the taste. The taste almost it's tastes like a... Watered it down apple cider. Yeah, 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 like yeah, it's definitely. It's kind of watered down. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. No, it's not. It's not a very good cherry. Yeah, yeah it's basic. <laughs> well, it's nice. I was right. worried it was going to be like yeah. pop syrup. No. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I appreciate that it's not. Exactly. It's not sweet. Exactly. No. Yeah. Well, no. Meh. All right. Well, as, as you guys know, uh, when we do these kind of themed boxes, we don't really give them letter grades. We do just kind of pass fail. So I'm going to go each group, uh, each couple, I should say, and uh, just give us a, a thumbs up, thumbs down, and then maybe just a, just a general impression as to why you say that. So Scott and Katie, uh, I give thumbs down. I enjoy it, but it tastes pretty gross. Uh, I give it a thumbs up. I like the black currant stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, now uh, Diamond and Sarah? Uh, I'd say thumbs down. Uh, I wasn't really impressed with anything we tried, and I must cracked my teeth. <laughs> I'd say thumbs sideways. Some of the stuff was good, some was bad, some didn't taste like anything. So, and sideways. John and Jess? I'd probably give it a thumbs up. Uh, it wasn't anything terrible, uh, but nothing really spectacular either. I would go somewhere in the middle. I mean, it wasn't. The drink wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Actually, it's fine. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, first off, I want to thank all of our couples for, for being here today. And uh, as always, if you like what you saw, make sure that you like and subscribe down at the bottom. And uh, until next time, happy Valentine's Day from all of us here at Back Kids Studios. Why do you keep having all these sexual innuendos? <laughs> I'm supposed to be the dirty one. Well, you married me, so. <laughs>